welcome to a brand new episode of Dragon Age. I'm Queen Crow, Monocro, and we're here in the, in the Red Cliff Chantry. And uh, in the last episode, um, we talked with our fellow uh, companions, and then we made our way here to Red Cliff, and, um, well, we found out shit was fucked up here. There were, like, these weird monsters coming out of the castle, and no one's heard from Arl Eamon. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, are you Jetta? I am. You've heard of me? Uh, yeah, sorry, but your husband is in her bed. It's not really a graceful way to say that. At least she just came to the point and, like, beat around the bush or anything. Uh, yeah, certainly. Make his blessings upon Oh, thanks. I guess so. Let's see, who else is here? So old man. What are we going to Call do? me old man. We must be brave. What's up, Caitlin? Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Um, are you all right? Why are you crying? Those, those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Mm, that sucks. And now my brother Bevan. I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Uh, I'll look for him. Don't trip. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. You got it, babe. Um, so I tried to upload a Sims 4 episode for you guys this week. And, um, for those of you who care, it did not go well. So, um... You will not be getting an episode of that. I'm going to try for next week, but we'll see. It depends on if I keep having trouble with it or not. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Yes, sir. Gray, and hope for a miracle. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I am. I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. Well, um, they do. So you say. Damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. That much is clear. Ha <laughs> but anyone who wants to help, though, Good one, Sten. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village. Providing we are and if you play Mass Effect, that is Zaid's voice. Uh, he is no longer with us. Um, but at least we have his awesome voice acting uh have faith good man we will defeat this evil together i hope you're right i really do anyhow you're here and they tell me you're in charge uh yeah what can i do to help we need what little armor and weapons we got repaired and quickly or half of us will be fighting without either owen's the only blacksmith who can do it but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk we're to be ready for tonight. We'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Crotchety bastard. I like it. Uh, I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, you'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Alright. Old Go man. Away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. I was just like, I don't know what this fucking guy's problem is. Um, Open this door, I'll break it down. Just you try it, Luther. Oh, that didn't I work. Said, don't you try to come in here. Um, break the lock. Somebody's been drinking. Just Good observation. To my home. I've no money and nothing of value to take, as you can plainly see. So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I ask is you get on with it. I don't have much to live for as it is. Who would want to beat you up in that kind of mood? Just takes the fun all out of it. Not here to rob you. Uh... The militia needs you. Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Belena. Is 
one of the Alessa's maids, and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me, or the village, or anyone. He's got really big hands. Don't worry, I'll rescue her. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. Well, they won't if you don't help them. If you look for Elena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. Good. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him either. You were asking a great deal, you wretched little man. Yeah, tell him, Morgan. Promise, promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to it's me. so demanding. Fine, I promise I'll find her. That. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Is this a promise we will not keep? Let's hope not. What's this? <laughs> I said nothing to you, human. <laughs> right, then. It seems I have some work to do, relighting the forge. Oh, I the like those two together. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now. So you'll have to excuse me. And of course, Morgan and Sen disapprove. Uh, okay, where are we going? Uh, now, there's shit well, under I here, but... Anything you need in there. Yeah, exactly. But it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. Yeah. Not if I'm going to repair the equipment they have. That stuff is old, anyhow. Yeah. Let me open it for you. I have the key. Oh, good. Open it up. I'm a Grey Warden, and I need to look at everything. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much shit. But we take it all because that is money. All right. Nothing in there. Let's go. Um, let's find dude's little brother. I guess she's not really a dude. Chick's little brother. As you desire. He is in here. Hello? Is someone there? Go away. This isn't your home. A small human. I say burn it out. Ah, what are you doing? All right, I'll come out. Good one, Stan. Please, don't hurt me. I'll go back to the Chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. Uh, your sister is looking for you. I just didn't want to be at the Chantry anymore. Everyone's scared, and I want to be brave. Uh, how is hiding in the dresser being brave? I wasn't brave? always in here. I hid when I heard you coming. I was... Well, I shouldn't tell you. It's a secret. Uh, let's see if our persuade works. No. I won't tell you. And you can't make me. You can't. That did not work. So he has a key. That gives us a sword. Um, which we might be able to get it. Where am I going? Of course. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a sword in there, and so, um, but we might be able to get it if we go to the chantry. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. Damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. 
I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. Uh... You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge to the north. Right. Sir Per. Let's hope we see morning. Alright, let's see what else is in this town. We need to go visit the pub, which is up here. I always like this view. Get a nice view of the castle. Ooh, wrong way. It's the city. I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta stop what you're doing and appreciate the art that someone has created to bring this world together. It's just amazing to me. Uh, where are we going? Right in here. All right. Let's talk to a uh, Lloyd. Yes. No, not you. As you wish. Lloyd. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Um... What do you mean? Oh, you know, evil creatures, impending doom, civil war, and the Earl's dead in the castle. Makes you thirsty, don't it? So, it does. So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. Uh, let's see what right. you have. You've got some supplies, too, in case you're interested. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? Um. Oh, I don't have any money. That's not good. Let's sell the axe. Iron that. Uh, all this shit. This is all tier one. Oh, they gave us some gold. We're gonna buy the ale. And I think that's it. I a lesser injury kit too. Okay. Over here. Not looking for company. Uh, strange seeing an elf here. Elves aren't allowed to travel. It's just I'm curious. Not here to talk. Just leave me to drink, all right? I just want to be left alone. Mm, not good enough. I said I'm not looking for company. Shouldn't you be with the militia? Well, I don't live here. Then what are you doing here? Just waiting until I can leave again. Who are I'm not you? Here to talk. Just leave me to drink, all right? I just want to be left alone. Hmm. Come here, Bella. Another doom soul come to drown their sorrows here. I see. If you came here for a drink, you'd have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on his figures. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. Uh, what's up with the elf? Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit creepy. How's business been? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... Uh, you don't care for Lloyd, I take it? He gropes me and pays me next to nothing. I suppose it could Sexual be Sexual harassment. It's, not, like I've got many it's not good. I'm going to talk no, to Lloyd. No, no, that'll just make things worse. And that's very sweet, but I'll be fine. How about a race? I'd like that. Maybe we could talk after the battle tonight. If we're still here, that is. Oh, yes. She wants me, you guys. She wants my V. 
in and around her mouth. I Just said saying. I'm not looking for company. Uh, I hear you're Barrick. What? How did you know that? Uh, well, that's my name. Why? You seem awfully nervous. I, no reason. I just didn't know how you knew my name. That's all. Uh, waiting for your what? brother? Oh, yes. He was supposed to meet me here. And then I got stuck here when monsters from the castle attacked. You didn't try to leave? Uh, no. Those who tried are dead. And, um, I, uh, have to wait for my brother. Look, you're very pretty and all, but I was told to, uh, just leave me alone. Hmm. What do you mean? What were you told to Nothing. do? Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. How did you know I'm a Grey Warden? I just, uh, overheard it, that's all. Mm -hmm. If you'll excuse me, I want to get to the Chantry before the sun goes down. Um, this will be easy, uh, less intimidating, actually. All right, all right, I'll tell you. Just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. They just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. Oh, how the wheels turn. I haven't turn. even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck. Same as you, I swear. Who hired Tall you? Fellow. I forget his name. He uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man. Terran Logan's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. Hmm. Just to report any You did everything honest. wrong. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. Um I don't know anything about these creatures. When the Arl got sick, I got scared that people would think I was involved. But I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick. I don't know. Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think you should help defend Red Redcliffe. Radcliffe. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks, Stan. I'm glad you approved. All right. Let's uh, talk to these guys. Militia man. We just come here to try and bend the thing. What's happening? That's right, on Murder. I can't believe Lloyd won't even give us some free ale. A time like this, and all he thinks about is turning a profit. Did you expect any different? That bastard's always been cheaper than an antique from the hall. That guy's hella drunk. The village and he don't even have the decency to help us out. Um. Let's see with this one. You're telling me we're just trying to survive, and here he is making a profit. Ah, uh, what difference does it make? He won't care. Oh, won't he? We're gonna make some changes in this bar. Um, I hear you're charging the militia. Why shouldn't I? They may not have much coin, but I'm not giving it away for free. Uh, their money won't help if you're dead. Hey, there's no need for that kind of talk. That's murder. Um,. Oh, you can actually... Uh, let's do this one. I don't actually want to kill him. Hey, look. See, 80 silvers. I could pay you to uh, protect me. There's no need for any unpleasantness. Uh... Huh. Um, 
This is taking a very interesting turn. Uh, let's have him join the militia. But, but I, oh, all right. I approve. All who are able should fight. But all of this better be here when I get back. I don't want the place drunk out from under me. Blasted. All right, so that happened. I don't know if that necessarily was the right choice, but it was a choice. I see you got that bastard Lloyd to join the militia. It's about time he did something to help out. I guess this puts me in charge. <laughs> Poor Lloyd will have an apoplexy just thinking about it, eh? Apoplexy. Use that in a sentence today. Uh, give them free <laughs> ale. Lloyd wouldn't care much for that. It's an excellent idea. You hear that, boys? Drinks for the militia are on the house. Ha! <laughs> You're the best time. You just keep us all safe, boys. And stay alive. She just wants everyone to run and train on her. Keep safe and come back any time. I won't lock up until near sundown. Alright, let's talk to Sir Perth. Were you really in that cage for 20 days? Might have been closer to 30. I stopped counting after a while. What did you do? I mean, 20 days is a long time to sit in one place and do nothing. On good days, <laughs> defensible on that spot. All right, let's talk to Sir Perth. Greetings, Grey Warden. I'm as relieved as Van Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know quite how to address you. Is my lady sufficient? My queen would be better. Uh, yeah. Very well then, my lady. I am humbly at your service. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. I doubt perhaps it. Perhaps I would be dead. Yep. Ah, well. You would have been dead. Aiding our defense. Perhaps all is not lost. Uh, what can I do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. I'll see what I can do. That gladdens my heart to hear. All right, carry on. As you wish, my lady. Make her watch over you. All right. So let us get this chantry bitch to do something. First, we're gonna do a couple things. We are going to go to the store. Leaves over here. And in this lovely place, right to this chest. What? Insufficient skill. Oh, that is such bullshit. Uh, there are these oils, these barrels of oil. We need to know that. We're gonna come over here to this door. Uh, let's knock on it. Let's uh, pick the lock. And now we break it open. And that, boys and girls, Wonderful. is how you kick in a door. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. Uh, let's start with intimidation. Oh no, have to run the place. It's not like I could stop people like you anyway. 
The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now, kindly tell me why you're here. Uh, what are you doing shut up in here? Surviving. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. Um... You should be defending the village. Why? When did this town ever rush to my rescue? Uh, let's see if they'll come rushing when I attack you. I've had enough of you strutting around like you own the place. <laughs> come on, boys. This ends now. Um, it's not quite what I wanted to do. What am I doing? Let's attack some people. Intimidation wasn't the right way to go. Uh, cause now they're dead. So. Um. Well, we'll see how this plays out. Um, Dwin actually has something that I am gonna need. So we'll, um, in the future, to get into this chest. So we'll see how that works. Um, <laughs> okay, that's probably why he's not disappearing. But good news, I leveled up. All right, so our uh, willpower cutting. And let's um hmm let's do flurry. Evan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Bevan. Um, hello again. I found my sister. So, if you're um, a male Grey Warden, you can actually get her to have sex with you. Which is pretty awesome. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. She does not have a good profile. I have my own reason Which to be here. doesn't include protecting innocence. Yeah. Regardless, I am grateful the Maker brought you to us. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this chantry. Oh, Which Mother Hannah. Is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Oh, Sir Perth. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Um, can you bless them? I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. Exactly. You, mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense. I will not lie to them like that. Um... Let's, uh, let's try persuading. I cannot do it. I know that their own faith may inspire them, but these men need to find confidence on their own. I, I simply won't lie to them. 
not really a lie. Let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can. And I suggest you do the same. Let's see if we can do this again. Uh, no, we can't. Either make a watch over you, child. Alright, well, thanks for nothing, Mother Hannah. Liv, are ready to fight at your disposal. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? No. I see. Then I suppose we must simply rely on our own prayers. The maker will not help us. Thank you for your efforts. Does he have an earring in his top of his ear? Right there? Interesting. Um oil in the village store. No one told me of this. Oil you say? How much exactly? Uh, enough to set him aflame. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective if used carefully. I think yes, it is supposed to be like it. Some men to collect the oil. A earring, to slow these whatever down. those ear things are called. Uh, anything else? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. All right, carry on. As you wish, my lady. Make her watch over you. He wants the V2. They're all horn dogs over here. We forgot to go over here. Death route. I hear you got the tavern serving the militia free ale now. While I don't favor my men being drunk come sundown, I suppose it helps morale to have their minds taken off. What's to come? You have my thanks. No, oh, you're welcome. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. Apparently everyone just is just it. drunk in this town. It's like where alcoholics go to live. Um, alright, let's do it. Are you sure? There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. Nope, let's go. And good luck to you. Fucking crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> 